another year and we have yet another ea football game this time called fc 25 and as always we still have problems with it my name is yudullah you're watching Gandero Technology and in this video we're going to fix the EA cannot connect to servers issue that you might come across when playing FC25. Uh, now the first thing that you need to do is check your internet connection and restart your router. That's the easiest way around it. Uh, if I fire up my web browser and I do a quick speed test, you can see that I'm getting pretty good speeds. It's not the fastest internet connection in the world, but it's definitely fast enough for me to be able to play FC without any issues. And if you check out my taskbar, you will also see that I'm using an Ethernet connection and not Wi-Fi, which gives you better stability when you're playing games. So if you've established that your internet connection is working, the next thing that we're going to check for is uh, EA server status. Now uh, doing this is rather easy. All you have to do is uh, head over to EA server status website or you can just Google EA server status and uh, the help.ea URL will come up. Now uh, as you can see, if you can't connect to your EA game, check if the servers are available and uh, as you can see the EA app and EA play are both working and if I scroll down FC25 and FC24 both of these games are still working oh I didn't realize they still had first servers online for FIFA 23 in any case uh, FC25 is working fine so I should not be having any troubles connecting to the game servers if I launch the game right now If that doesn't work or you still need uh, more fixes, you can try adding the game to your Windows Firewall. Sometimes Windows Firewalls can block applications from connecting to the internet and you'll get an error like this. So to do this, uh, we're going to search for Firewall and Network Protection Settings in the Start menu. We'll click on this. And as you can see, Domain Firewall, Private Firewall and Public Firewall is on. Public Firewall is the one that's active right now. And if you go down a little, you will see Allow an App Through Firewall option. So we're going to click on this. And uh, this will now open up a list of applications that is allowed to go through your firewall. What we're going to do is we're going to check if the EA app and EA Sports 25 is allowed to communicate through these firewalls. So as you can see, the EA app is allowed to go through both private and public firewalls and the EA Sports FC25 program is not allowed to go through private firewalls which can cause problems if you're on your home network. So go ahead and click on change settings and then just check that box and that's it. Click OK and uh, FC25 should start working now without any issues. You can also try flushing your DNS settings just to make sure that your internet connection is working properly. So to do this, let me just open command prompt and once it's open, what we're going to do is we're going to type in ipconfig slash flush DNS. What this does is that it flushes your DNS resolver cache. So if there were any corrupt or wrong DNS entries there, which may be causing problems with your internet issues, uh, you can resolve that. Uh, the next command is netsh pin sock reset what this does is that it uh, goes ahead and resets your network devices or interfaces and as you can see we need to run this as an administrator so let's quickly go ahead and uh, launch an admin related process so uh, to launch an admin command prompt we just open up the start menu search for command prompt click on run as administrator give it the permissions it needs come back here and now i can type in net sh winsock reset press enter and the winsock catalog will be resetted but you need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect and for the reset to be complete If that doesn't fix your problem either, uh, your option is to go ahead and reset all of your network interfaces entirely. Now we can do this with Windows settings. So just sir, open the start menu and search for network reset and the settings option will appear right here. Click on this, uh, you will see one button. You can click on reset now and all of your network adapters, network components, everything will be reset to their original settings. Uh, so if you're having any problems, they would be resolved, but you will also need to connect to any Wi-Fi networks. Uh, you'll have to set up VPN clients or switches that you may be using on your Windows machine. But these steps can help you fix connectivity problems with FC25. 
If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.